bien. Bonjour à toutes et à tous. Nous allons commencer. Je vais laisser la parole à l'étudiant dans un instant qui s'exprimera en langue anglaise, n'étant pas familier avec le français. Je vais, avant de lui laisser la parole, vous présenter le jury depuis l'extrémité jusqu'à moi-même. Donc, Tout d'abord, le professeur Michel Allenbach de l'Université de la Nouvelle-Calédonie, co-directeur de ce travail. À ses côtés, le professeur, euh, j'ai oublié son prénom, Jolly, qui vient de l'université de Hong Kong, qui devient un habitué, puisque c'est la deuxième fois qu'il vient parmi nous. En, troisième fois, pardon, excuse-moi Cyril. Euh, à ses côtés, le professeur Daniel Murdiasso, qui provient d'Indonésie et qui a été l'un des deux rapporteurs avec le professeur Lee de ce travail. Ensuite, euh, Luc de la Patrona, chargé de recherche à l'IFREMER ici à Nouméa. Cyril Marchand, chargé de recherche à l'IRD, donc directeur de ce travail, et moi-même, professeur Le Tourneur de l'Université de la Nouvelle-Calédonie. Je vais donc maintenant laisser la parole à Chuang. It's up to you. Alors. Thank you so much, Professor Le Tourneur and all the members of Surrey to have agreed to evaluate my thesis. First of all, I would like to say uh, good afternoon, uh, everybody. Um, thank you so much for your coming. I'm really happy to, hear, to be here with you and to present is my result that I done uh, during the, the past three years. My research on carbon stock and plus in the tropical mangrove forest in the southern of Vietnam. My supervisor is uh, Dr. Siri Makchang in IAD New Caledonia, and Professor Michel Alan Bass in University of New Caledonia. So now I would like to start with uh, general information about the CO2 concentration, climate change, and um, <coughs> distribution of the mangrove forest uh, on the world. The CO2 concentration is one of most uh, elements of the greenhouse gas. Uh, in the atmosphere, and they increase uh, rapidly and continuously this, uh, during, uh, during the past 50 years. The CO2 concentration is uh, what we call as 218 BBM in 1750, but they increase to uh, 411 BBM in 2017, uh, because the green uh, Greenhouse gas increase uh, in the atmosphere that lead to the global temperature increase approximately 0.6 degrees uh, degree uh, over the, the past 50 years. The CO2 concentration increase uh, in the um, atmosphere due to many factors. The main, uh, two main factors is uh, the, the first, the fossil, uh, fossil fuel is burning for the energy. The land you by uh, the land you change by the the human. The impact of a rising uh, global temperature lead to the sea level rise, coastal flooding, uh, diminished crop yields, uh, destructive storm drop and uh, wildfire. However, uh, vegetation uh, can be uh, <coughs> an important scene of uh, atmospheric CO two through the photosynthesis uh, process. During the, the daytime, the leaf uh, absorb the sunlight uh, and feed the uh, CO2 from the atmosphere, um, and then st store the carbon in their biomass. Conversely, uh, vegetation can also uh, uh, soak for the CO2 uh, um, a shock of the CO2 for the atmosphere. The CO2 being delivered back into the atmosphere uh, from the um, respiration of the, the tree and decomposition from the organic matter in the soil. Among the distribution of the mangrove forest on the world, uh, they develop at the interface between the, uh, the ocean, uh, the, uh, the the land and ocean in the tropical and subtropical area. Definition of the mangrove forest is the tree or scrubs. Uh, generally, it's uh, accepting one half meter in high, and that's normally grow about mean sea level in the intertidal zone of the marine coastal environment and 
entering marine. Uh, the mangrove forest has a high biodiversity and biomass uh, when they develop uh, as near the equator, especially the high biomass uh, when they develop in the indo pacific uh, The color in the, the map uh, represents the, the number of the mangrove forest distribution in the, the world. It's, uh, the biomass of the mangrove is uh, decreased follow the latitude. Uh, the highest biomass uh, when the tree, the mangrove develop uh, from uh, 10 degree in north to 10 degree in south. Uh, so that is uh, very very interesting to research on the biomass and the carbon stock in the tropical mangrove forest. Moreover, the mangrove forest is the largest uh, carbon sink. Uh, they can store the carbon in their biomass and uh, in their soil. Uh, the largest carbon content uh, may be stored in, the, in their soil. In the Vietnam, the mangrove forest distribution along up the coast um, from the north to the south, more than 18% of the distribution in the southern of Vietnam. In my research, uh, we were conducted in the Kanye mangrove forest and uh, the mangrove forest in the Kamau province. During the Vietnamese war, more than one million gallons of the chemical uh, were dried in, in the southern of Vietnam. Most of the, the mangrove forest uh, were destroyed by the uh, defoliated uh, chemical, uh, particularly in Kanye, uh, where approximately 57% area were destroyed. Uh, however, after the, the, after the war, the Vietnamese government had a vast uh, mangrove reforestation in the southern of Vietnam, especially in the Kanye. Uh, since 1978, approximately 21,000 hectares uh, were blighted with the main species is uh, Rhizophora apiculata. And nowadays, the Kanye mangrove forest become one of the most beautiful mangrove forests uh, on the world. Uh, they also the the first uh, mangrove biofuel reserve in Vietnam with the uh, the high value of the biodiversity. Um, in my research, I have four main uh, scientific questions. The first, uh, what is the biogeography biomass of the rhizophora in the southern of Vietnam? The second, what are the carbon stock in the soil and in the above ground biomass along an intertidal eleva elevation gradient? Uh, what is the seasonal variation of the litter phone and what are the decomposition dry of the lit lip litter? And the last, what is the seasonal variability of the CO2 plus at the different interface and how vary the vertical CO2 concentration in the canopy. The main objective of my research with the about uh, alum, with the allometric uh, equation and about ground biomass, we will determine the um, uh, we will determine the um, component a different component of the tree. The first is the leaf, branches, trunk and the rope roots. Uh, with the above ground biomass, we will determine uh, as the two, two stands in the rhizophora and uh, Abyssinia stand. Uh, with the soil carbon stock, we will conduct at uh, four position from the, uh, the river uh, toward, uh, toward inland. We will also determine the little form of um, rhizophora and uh, Abyssinia stand. Uh, and to determine the, the leaf decomposition right on the forest floor, uh, as, well, uh, as well as the, the nutrient cycling this occur during the, the leaf litter decomposition process. Um, con concerning the CO2 plus, um, we, uh, we will also uh, determine the CO2 emission from the trunk. Uh, the water column at high tide and CO2 emission from uh, soil air at low tide, as well as the CO2 
concentration under the canopy. Uh, so now it's, uh, uh, let's move on the, the next uh, result, of, um, the next part of my result. To answer the, the first scientific question, um, the main objective was determine the allometric equation about ground biomass, biomass partitioning, uh, carbon conversion vector, and about ground biomass of the Rhizophora uh, stand in the southern of Vietnam. To reach our goal is 36 uh, Rhizophora tree um, with the diameter range from the 7 to 36 centimeter uh, from the, the mangrove forest. Uh, Manisma uh, protection in the Kamau province will have it to, to determine the allometric equation. Uh, on about ground trunk branches, drop root and the leaf uh, were sorted uh, and way separate in the, the field. And on the carbon content of uh, each component uh, were to determine by the uh, Shimazu equipment at the IRD lab in New Caledonia. And the uh, biomass partitioning of the trunk and the leaf uh, represent the same strength. Uh, degree follow the trunk diameter. We should get that. Uh, this result may be related to the growing uh, space uh, available to an individual, uh, individual, individual tree. Uh, to contact with the, to contact to the trunk and the leaf, the biomass partitioning of the friend and the rock root uh, increase follow the trunk diameter. Uh, we should get that, uh, this result, uh, um, we should get that when the trunk diameter enlarges, uh, the rope root arrive from the trunk and the lower branch to uh, support revive for the tree on the muddy uh, substrate and to increase uh, stability. Regarding the branch, uh, the young then stand is, uh, may limit the lateral ground of the mangrove tree. And uh, this can explain the, the review uh, biomass partitioning of the, uh, the branch. Uh, we, we will also determine the total about uh, biomass uh, of the, the radio uh, tree in the southern of Vietnam with our uh, allometric equation. The figure so the the total about ground biomass uh, increase follow the trunk diameter. Uh, our result is lower uh, when we compare the the result from the Australia, uh, Malaysia, and Indonesia. Uh, the difference is uh, maybe uh, explained by the the forest I uh, at the mangrove forest in the the Manta Malaysia uh, had de developed for 18 years, uh, contact with the Razor Forest stand in Vietnam. It was younger than 40 years. We will also determine the mean value of the above ground biomass, approximately this 270 megagram per hectare. The carbon conversion vector is very important to convert the dry biomass to the carbon. In this result, we will determine the carbon conversion vector for the radiophora tree in the southern of Vietnam is uh, 44.1%. Consequently, the mean carbon stock in the background biomass uh, approximately is 120 megagram carbon per hectare. Compared with uh, another result in uh, Malaysia, Australia, uh, as well as, uh, as well the, um, the, the global mean value of the carbon stock, uh, we should get that the different mean carbon stock uh, between stand related to the, the forest eye, the high tree density, uh, as well the, the simple uh, cultural treatment uh, especially in the southern of Vietnam, uh, the thinning activity uh, reduced the carbon stock through the, the mangrove uh, 
the, uh, the mangrove tree uh, removal. Uh, the carbon partitioning of the trunk is a uh, world, uh, world high distribution to the, the right, uh, to total, to total the, the right way of the carbon stock, and the low is in the lip uh, with the 2.4%. The conclusion for this part, the first, about ground biomass, as well as biomass partitioning vary with the forest eye and the tree density. The low matrix equation were determined for the rhizophora in the southern of Vietnam. The carbon uh, conversion vector for the rhizophora, uh, as well as the total about ground biomass, uh, uh, total about ground carbon stock, and the last is the carbon stock in the background biomass are lower than all the tropical mangrove forests. And uh, let's move on to the, the, the second uh, result of my, the, the second part of my uh, result, my research. In this session, and, uh, we hypothesized that the, the, carbon, uh, the carbon stock in the, the soil and the in the biomass um, vary with the mangrove species and the position of stand along the uh, intertidal eleva uh, elevation gradient. Uh, the main objective was determine the, <coughs> the soil uh, physiochemical uh, characteristics uh, as well as the carbon content and the carbon stock uh, beneath uh, is mangrove stand. To reach our goal, the, the soil core is work conducted at four positions. The first position in the uh, mud flats uh, along the river bend. The second is uh, the second is colonized by the Avicennia. Uh, the higher position is the transitional forest. The last position is the the inner forest with the main species is the uh, Avicennia, which were uh, planted uh, since 1978. In this past, 20, uh, 24 soil core with uh, one meter in deep were conducted during the, the dry season in 2016 and the wet season in 2017. And on the soil sample uh, were analyzed at the IRD lab uh, in New New Caledonia. The carbon content and uh, carbon nitrogen ratio increase from the mud last to the uh, the inner forest. Uh, with, uh, we suggest that this result might be related to the organic carbon accumulation in the soil uh, occur uh, for almost 40 years in the rhizophora. Therefore, the the organic uh, Organic matter uh, can ac accumulate and increase uh, in the soil carbon uh, in the soil carbon stock. Interesting, uh, in the in the in the transition forest, uh, transitional forest, and the uh, and the inner forest, uh, the carbon content and carbon nitrogen ratio uh, were different, uh, were significant different between the the layer upper 40 uh, centimeters and deeper uh, 40 centimeters. Combined with the result from the McKenzie in 2016, he will determine an average vertical uh, uh, acreage rate in the Kanye mangrove forest, approximately this uh, yellow uh, boy 99 centimeters per, per year. And the picture, uh, another evidence, is the picture saw the, the very depth of the rhizophora uh, beneath approximately this 40 centimeters uh, from the soil file. Uh, with another picture saw the, the, de the dead tree after the um, prior in the, the chemical. We suggest that uh, the layer from uh, yellow to 40 uh, correspond to the the different uh, the development of the current forest and uh, the layer from 40 to 100 um, centimeter in depth 
uh, correct one to the the mangrove forest in the the bath before uh, applying the chemical. Uh, we will uh, also determine the carbon stock. The green color represents the value um, of the <coughs> above ground uh, above ground carbon stock. They increase from the fringe forest to the inner forest. The blue color uh, represents the value of the the soil carbon stock from the yellow. Um, the yellow to 100 centimeters in mud flats and the uh, fin forest. Uh, the brown color is descend the value from the yellow um, from the yellow to 40 centimeters in the transitional forest and the uh, inner forest. And the uh, orange color is descend the value from uh, 40 to 100 centimeters in depth. The Ecosystem carbon stock increase from the mud flat to the inner forest in the Kanye Mangro forest with the highest value approximately this uh, for um, approximately this five five hundred megagram carbon per hectare. Using the, the satellite image analyze, uh, we will determine the total mangrove forest cover and uh, the overall carbon stock in the Kanye mangrove forest. The conclusion for this part, the mangrove forest in Kanye actually successfully recovered through the replantation and the natural regeneration. The species donation with the rhizophoracy at the highest elevate elevation and the natural colonization of the river bend by Avicenia tree. The mangrove forest uh, store a high amount of carbon in their biomass and in their soil. The overall carbon stock of the Kanye mangrove uh, may be containing at least uh, 13 by 6 tegagam carbon. And so now is uh, let's move to the, the next result of my uh, research. The main objective uh, in this session uh, were, were, to, uh, were to determine the seasonal variability of the little phone uh, as well the <coughs> the decomposition rate in uh, two stand is the uh, rhizophora stand and uh, Avicen, uh, Avicenia stand. Uh, we were also interacting in the nutrient cycle uh, occur during the the leaf litter decomposition. Uh, process. Uh, to reach our goal, 10 traps were randomly placed in two stands. The, lit, uh, the little phone were collected every month from the October 2016 to September 2017. The decomposition uh, rise were determined by using the, the little bed technique. Uh, do, um, we, me we were measured during the two seasons, the rye and the wet, from the 2016 to 2017. Uh, each season, uh, we, in, uh, we set up a 19 letter bed for each stand. Uh, the, cli uh, the climate uh, condition up uh, uh, in Kenya is uh, the tropical man uh, the it is tropical monsoon. With two seasons, the the, rainy, the rainy season lasting from December to April, and the rainy season from the May to the November. The little phone uh, were different between mangrove species. Uh, it were higher in Rhizophora than uh, Avicenia. We should get uh, we should get that this result is uh, maybe related to the higher productivity of the Rhizophora standards. I will mention in the the session about. In addition, uh, the monthly uh, little phone vary significant with the the season. Um, <coughs> uh, the <coughs> the high the um, the highest uh, the highest um, the highest little phone is uh, occur during the the trend. 
transitional period between the uh, the dry and rainy season with the uh, with a character rich by the the high temperature and low rainfall. Uh, we should get that the low is the little phone related to the high poor water salinity uh, occur during the the dry season that stretch uh, on the the mangrove tree. Uh, the highest little fall occur the same barriers with the fruiting season. Uh, unfortunately, in this uh, research, we uh, this not uh, distinguish different uh, between uh, component of the little fall. Concerning the the leaf litter decomposition rate, uh, it was faster in Avicennia stand than uh, Rhizophora stand. Um, we should get that this result uh, related to the the different component of the leaf from two mangrove species. In the Avicennia, the composition rise uh, were faster during the rainy season than the dry season. Uh, <coughs> the first uh, um, the um, were faster this uh, with the um, the higher nitrogen content. Concentration in the leaf uh, because of the the higher <coughs> the higher um, nutritional value for the decomposer decomposer. In addition, the lower position uh, the lower position of stand and uh, the length of the title uh, in the inundation uh, that resulted on the. That resulted on the very fast leaching of the the most uh, labeled organic matter. Uh, moreover, the different uh, the decomposition rate were not different uh, in the dry and rainy season in the uh, Rhizophora stand, but in the Avicennia stand, uh, it were faster during uh, the dry season. Uh, then the, um, the rainy season, then the dry season, uh, we should get that um, the high uh, the high rainfall and high temperature occur during the rainy season um, were strong in blue on the the decomposition dry. Uh, in this research, the nutrient content were analyzed during the the leaf uh, litter decomposition. Uh, The nutrient content is uh, vary with the time and the uh, mangrove species and uh, the season uh, between the dry season and the rainy season. However, in this research, uh, I um, however in in this presentation, the time is not uh, allow me to present on it the element. Uh, therefore, I only emphasize on the organic uh, carbon and the uh, potassium. The organic carbon decomposition uh, were faster in the uh, Rhizophora than the uh, um, in the Avicennia than the Rhizophora. Um, we should uh, we should get that this result related to the difference of the little phone uh, biochemical quality and the uh, the land of the the lifter in mud in the seawater. The potassium is the the composition rise is uh, were losing more than 18 percent during the first week, uh, and then this uh, decrease slowly uh, after during the decomposition process. Um, we should get that uh, this result is uh, related to the the potassium content is uh, present in the the plant tissue as uh, free ion uh, not bound to the complex, uh, uh, um, complex organic uh, molecule. The conclusion for this part is the first is a little form uh, de uh, dependent on the mangrove species and vary with the season. 
the total little phone were uh, higher in Radio Fora and Avicennia. The decomposition rate depends on the position of the stand, uh, chemical composition of the leaf, and the length of the, the title inundation. The last is uh, the nutrient content degree during the leaf litter decomposition. And uh, so now it's, uh, let's move on the next up result of my result. Uh, the main objective in this uh, session is uh, were, were to determine the um, seasonal variability of the CO2 uh, emission from different interface uh, as well the vertical CO2 uh, concentration profile uh, under the canopy of the radio forest stand in, in Kenya. Uh, to reach our goal, uh, we will carry out this every two months from the July 2016 to September 2017 with a total of the a few trips. And on the chamber, uh, we we'll collect, uh, we'll connected with the LICO IA10, uh, which were uh, cal uh, which were cali uh, calibrated. Uh, every day before we measure on the uh, the water column and this the in the soil air and this the from the trunk. Uh, the the picture show the mean value of the CO two emission from the trunk water uh, column at high tide and CO two emission from the soil air at low tide. The CO2, can, uh, the CO2 emission from the uh, mangrove soil in the southern of Vietnam were higher than different measures for the mangrove soil compared with the result from the Australia and Kenya, uh, New Caledonia, and the northern of Vietnam. We suggest that uh, the, the different uh, CO2 emission between the, the stand uh, may be related to the different uh, climate um, condition. Uh, the very high uh, temperature in the uh, characterizing southern of Vietnam is uh, was strong in blue on the, the, uh, the CO2 emission from the, uh, the mangrove soil. They, uh, they confirm the, the importance of the temperature on the organic, uh, organic matter decomposition and the uh, uh, organi uh, organism respiration at the, the Kanye mangrove forest. Um, very in interesting, uh, very interesting in the, the CO2 emission from the trunk and the the soil, soil air, uh, they had the same strength and degree uh, follow the vary of the, the temperature. We suggest that the CO2 emission from the trunk and the, the soil uh, uh, related to the <coughs> degree of the um, temperature. Uh, therefore, the temperature uh, is uh, um, very uh, um, play a uh, a key rule in the CO2 emission from the, the soil, uh, but also is the CO2 emission from the trunk. The highest of the CO2 emission from the trunk and the, uh, the soil air uh, related with the highest temperature begin, uh, at begin of the, the rainy season. Um, the CO2 the CO2 emission uh, from uh, from soil in that is were highest uh, of different interface study. Um, in addition, the the, the CO2 emission uh, from the soil in that were higher than the soil uh, from the soil at line. We uh, we suggest that uh, this result is. Um, related to the, the micro fetal uh, development at the soil phase uh, was strongly influenced on the, the CO2 emission from the, the soil. 
concerning the CO2 in concentration profile in the canopy of the rhizophora stand, uh, the CO2 concentration uh, were different between the the night time and light uh, night time and uh, day time, uh, between the low tide and high tide, but also between the different season. The um, CO2 concentration value at the the day uh, in the daytime at low tide is uh, were higher than this uh, the CO2 concentration uh, value at the uh, day. Uh, in the, the daytime at um, high tide. This result is, uh, um, we, we suggest that this result related to the higher uh, CO2 emission from the, uh, the, the soil, soil air at uh, low tide than the CO2 emission from the water uh, column from at high tide. The, uh, in addition, the high uh, CO2 concentration uh, uh, were determined at, the ni uh, at night in, the, in May. Uh, we suggest that this result uh, related to the barriers of the, CO, uh, the, the high CO2 emission from the trunk and uh, the CO2 emission from the, the soil that I just mentioned. Another the CO2 um, concentration value uh, on most higher, um, on most high at the, the same high with the, the rope roots, uh, we uh, we suggest that this the the rope roots it might maybe the the barrier of the air movement, and they uh, they trap the CO2 concentration among them. The conclusion for this class. Uh, the CO2 emission from soil in dark were highest of the different interface study, and were among the uh, the highest uh, measurement of, uh, for the for a mangrove soil. The high temperature were responsible for the elevated CO2 emission from soil. The CO2 concentration under the canopy vary with the, the season, the time, and the, the night day alternation. And so now is uh, let's move to the general conclusion and uh, recommendation. The main conclusion of my research can be summarized as follows: the biomass. Uh, were significant difference between the component with a uh, partitioning as follow trunk, uh, branches, drop root, and the leaf. The carbon stock vary uh, along the elevation gradient being distributed as follow the inner forest, transitional forest, fin forest, and the uh, must blast. The soil uh, physiochemical parameter vary with the soil depth and gradient of the elevation and were strongly in, in blue and by the soil carbon content. And mainly lead to form vary significant with the season for two species uh, study and mainly depend on the uh, precipitation and temperature. The CO2 emission were significant different uh, at the different interface study. The last is the, the vertical CO2 concentration under the canopy depend on the season, the time, and the, the night day on alternation. To summarize my result, uh, we will determine the, the carbon stock in the leaf. The, branch, uh, the leaf, branches, the trunk, and the rope roots. Uh, above ground carbon stock at four position from the must flat to the inner forest. We will also determine the leaf lit phone in the rhizophora and avicennia, and to determine the, the leaf decomposition uh, on the forest floor as well the nutrient cycling and trimethone uh, occur during the, the lithophone decomposition process. With the soil carbon 
stock we will conduct at four position from the most last at the lowest elevation to the highest elevation in the inner forest with the main species is Rhizo for abiculata. Uh, we will also determine the uh, CO2 emission from the trunk, uh, a water column at high tide, and this uh, CO2 emission from soil air at low tide, as well uh, the CO2 concentration under the canopy uh, in the rhizophora stand. This the 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 on the picture. This summarizes uh, my result. Consider, uh, considering the result that uh, I will obtain during this my study, uh, I um, I suggest to establish an ecovariant system to determine the the net ecosystem productivity of the uh, the Kandia mangrove, uh, because the the ecovariant uh, will uh, will improve our understanding the. Uh, the guy is changed between the, the canopy and the atmosphere. We also uh, suggest to quanti quantify the C CH4 emission from soil air and water air interface. And to determine this, uh, the above ground biomass of the mangrove forest from the satellite email uh, of the radar. This uh, I just finished all results on my research uh, that I done uh, during this uh, three year, and uh, again I would like to say uh, thank you for so much for your coming and for your listening. Maybe approximately 45 minutes. I hope that. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, Ving, for your presentation. So uh, I will ask the Professor Jolie to ask some question. Uh, first of all, Finn, I'd like to congratulate you on um, an excellent presentation. Yeah, so, thank you so much. there was no need to be worried about this because you did really, really well. <laughs> very clear. Um, the pace was very uh, well done and. Um, well, we got all the major points actually presented very yeah. clearly. Yeah, so, thank you so much. And I, I think the piece of work is actually um, not an easy task. Uh, I've worked in um, mangroves similar to your field site, and this is really hard work when you have to actually go through the very thick forest to get to the trees and collect your litter samples, and, and not to mention cutting down trees and weigh them in the soft mud and so on. So I think overall this is actually a very good piece of work and adding a lot of valuable data to um, the management of tropical marine uh, mangrove forests. So well done. Um, I'll begin with one or two more detailed questions and I'll go to bigger questions um, later on. Um, specifically, one or two questions about the litter decomposition and litter production aspects. Um, you mentioned that um, the two species, Avicinium marina yes. and Rhizophora uh, apiculata, actually when the litter decompose, yes. um, then they actually have different patterns of nitrogen changes um, during the initial phase yes. of decomposition. So in the first week or so, then for Rhizophora apiculata, uh, which is actually quite low in nitrogen content um, yes. compared to Avicinia marina, would have its nitrogen content increase mm. in the first week of decomposition. Yes. Whereas in Avicinia marina, which has a higher percentage nitrogen content in the litter compared with Rhizophora, there is a decrease in nitrogen content. Yes. Yeah? So why do you think that is the case? So I am not actually doubting your data. So the data is probably correct. Mm -hmm. uh, but why do you think is the or what is the biological mechanism behind the difference here? So a poorer nitrogen species, a species Rhizophora with a lower nitrogen content, would actually have its 
nitrogen content in the litter increase in the first week of decomposition, whereas a species with a higher nitrogen content to start with of a senior marina would have the nitrogen content of its litter decrease in the first week of decomposition. Why do you think that is the case? Can you offer some explanation to that particular phenomenon? Uh, thank you so much uh, for your um, question and it's uh, on your eleven I sent this your comment to my research and I mean that is uh, your question you asked about is the why the the decomposition is uh, very fast in the first week in the dry season for the Rhizophora. Uh, it's not just the rate, but also the pattern of nitrogen change. Uh, so yeah. the amount of nitrogen in the litter of rice sulfur seems to increase in the first week of decomposition. Whereas in Avicinia, yeah. which has an initial higher uh, level of nitrogen in the, the litter, would have its nitrogen content decrease in the first week. Mm, yeah. It's... Um, <laughs> With your your question, uh, I think that uh, the different decomposition, uh, the the lip the lip litter decomposition uh, different uh, between this uh, the Avicennia and Rhizophora stand and this the 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 different leaching this during the the lip litter decomposition. And uh, the decom the lip litter decomposition is very fast. Uh, uh, occur the first week. I think that is um, the difference is uh, come from the the different. Um, it look like I explain is uh, in the in my presentation is the the different is the. The land tidal up uh, in um, the the land uh, the land uh, up the tidal in a is uh, if uh, if I direct it to the the different it, the um, the lip litter decomposition and uh, another reason this is the 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 red, the Avicennia stand they develop at the the lowest position. Uh, this is the the tidal activity. This come is uh, uh, very frequently more than this the the Rhizophora stand because uh, I explained the Rhizophora stand is they are developed at the highest uh, um, the the highest uh, elevation and uh, another. I think that is the um, the um, the very fast uh, litter decomposition occur in the the rhizophora stand in the first uh, in the first week uh, may be related to the the um, the higher the high temperature. This uh, might be um, effective to the. The leaching of the um, the organic matter in the lip, and uh, the um, in addition, this the uh, I uh, this look like I explained in the the first session, because uh, the difference is maybe uh, come from the the different uh, biochemical quality between this the. Uh, the Rhizophora lip and the Avicenna lip, uh, but also the, um, but also this is the the reason why in in this research I, um, I left the the lip in the the little bed uh, for the Rhizophora is um, approximately this eight gram uh, higher than this the. The rhizophora uh, lip uh, approximately this a gram for one little best. Um,
Mr. Figo. So when you presented during your presentation, you presented lime, you presented carbon and potassium, but the one before, there were all yeah. the elements. Yeah. So Joe would like to see the one with all the elements and to focus on nitrogen. Easier for you if you see the graph. Uh, it's page 106 of your thesis, yes. Yes, this one. So you see nitrogen, <coughs> who is talking about nitrogen? Yeah. This is the nitrogen. Nitrogen, yes. Um, <coughs> so you see um, in this figure, the nitrogen content actually increased yeah. for rhizophora in the first week of decomposition. Yeah. Whereas for Avicennia, it decreased quite quickly. I don't know whether you uh, you have uh, Avicennia too, yes, down there, but that's not the, the yeah, nitrogen down yep. there. So for Avicennia, Alba, yeah, not Marina, Alba, the first week saw nitrogen actually decreased, whether it's in the rainy season or the dry season, from 100% uh, initially to maybe 90 or 70% in the yeah. two cases. Whereas for Rhizophora, there were increases, uh, which is unusual, actually. Most of the time, people expect nitrogen to be decreasing initially. Um, and the, I'm asking, well, you actually have talked about a lot of differences in the environment and the quality of the litter between the two species. Do you think these differences m could be actually related to the different types of bacteria colonizing the leaf litter in, or, in the two species? And they perform different roles in terms of how they use or add nitrogen to the system? Yes, thank you so much, your plan. Um, I think that is the, in the first week, in the Rhizophora stand, uh, that I mentioned about the different uh, biochemical uh, bio, biochemical quality, uh, but uh, depend on the the leaf litter decomposition rate. Uh, very different between the Avicennia and Rhizophora leaf. Um, with the Rhizophora, uh, the, the the decomposition rate is uh, lower than the Rhizophora. Uh, lower than Avicennia. I think that in the first week, uh, the nitrogen is increased by the, um, the leaf uptake uh, from the bacteria. Uh, with the Avicennia, um, I, I, I saw the, the leaf little decomposition of the Avicennia, they uh, decrease very fast in the first week. Uh, I think that is the, not the time for the the, the, um, the nitrogen uptake from the composer is uh, during the first week. Therefore, this, uh, the nitrogen ele eleven is uh, degree is uh, faster in the Avicennia than the Rhizophora. It's something very interesting because. Uh, even if you try to explain it in terms of the different types of bacteria colonizing the two different types of litter, one week is a very short time for bacteria to actually work and to be able to change the bulk composition of uh, leaf litter, uh, say nitrogen contents and so on. So uh, I don't actually expect you to know exactly the answer. I, I don't know myself. So <laughs> I'm just trying to guess, guess some feeling from you uh, mm, yes. what could be the cause. Um, a second question about litter production is uh, my experience is that most of the time you get the highest litter production during the rainy season in, um, in areas where you have a dry and a red, wet season. Whereas in your case, you actually have an opposite trend in that there is a, uh, a the litter production rate is actually lower in the rainy season, but high in the dry season. So you offer the explanation that um, it could be due to salinity and the, and the dry, uh, the low humidity causing some of the leaves to fall and so on. 
Um, but what about the factor of cyclones and strong winds during the rainy season? Is that a factor not included in your year of study? Yes. Or is, is, is it an important factor after all? You refer on the, the little yeah. phone? Yes. It's, uh, this, mm, I, I fully agree with you. This the, had uh, many parameters in blue on the, the, the total little phone. Uh, not only in the, uh, the mangrove forest, uh, but also in the, maybe this an, an, another mangrove, uh, another forest. Uh, with my knowledge and uh, I will observe is in the uh, in the Kanye mangrove. Uh, before uh, uh, I, I just explain this the why uh, the the total little phone is uh, this allow is uh, occur this uh, in the um, the right season is that means is the. Um, from the um, result, I uh, I measure the difference is the um, the, um, the pore water salinity and between this uh, different season in the wet season and the dry season. Uh, we uh, in the desert we saw how this the the pore water salinity this uh, uh, increase a uh, uh, higher in the dry season than the the rainy season. Uh, I think that is the high uh, pool water salinity is uh, effected on the little phone for the Rhizophora and the uh, Avicennia. Uh, according to the result of the Nokmanduk, he researched on the the, um, uh, the metro uh, up the fruit especially for the Rhizophora and Avi, uh, Avicennia in the southern of Vietnam. He researched in the, the uh, King Yang province. He determined this, the, the um, protein season is uh, occur this, uh, maybe the same time for both uh, Rhizophora and Avicennia from the August to the September. Um, I think that this, the, when the, the raining begin. Uh, maybe this the start for the, the growing season. Therefore, this is, uh, at this time, this uh, the end of the growing. Uh, the transitional between the, the end of the growing and the beginning of the growing season. Uh, the tree had a new leaf. It's new leaf. Um, because uh, I said that's uh, um, in this in the, in my research, I did not distinguish the leaf, the fruit, and the flower of the uh, the little phone. But uh, when I observe this, the, the in this time, very very high this uh, fruit from the Rhizophora and the Avicennia. Uh, I think this. Uh, I think that is uh, the different from the uh, rainy season and the dry season. This is uh, determined this the the growing season of the Rhizophora and Avicennia. Uh, another um, uh, the uh, the climate season in the the southern of Vietnam. The rainy season is uh, occur um, from this uh, May uh, Latin to the uh, from May to the November. Uh, begin up the um, during the rainy season, special at the um, the middle of raining, uh, especially in the southern of Vietnam, this uh, had many uh, uh, hurricane. Is uh, maybe this uh, at this time is uh, very uh, the wind very strong. Uh, they will uh, affect it on the the little phone, and. According to this, uh, I don't remember exactly of the uh, uh, the author, but uh, I remember he uh, remarked up the the total list of phone 
in the hurricane is uh, so very high and um, higher more than another day. I think it's the, the rainfall and the, the high wind speed will affect it on the, the little phone uh, for both Avicenia and Rezofora in the southern of Vietnam. Yeah. But it, uh, no hurricane actually happened during uh, your year, right? Uh, as you know, it's, uh, in Vietnam, especially the hurricane uh, usually to come in the middle of Vietnam to the, yeah, the yeah. northern. Uh, in the southern of Vietnam, very, very rare. Uh, I, remem I remember it's, uh, when I stay in Saigon, and it, I think it's only one hurricane is <laughs> visit in Ho Chi Minh City. <laughs> okay. yeah. so, so your data, even on the same two species, might actually be slightly different when you go to the northern half of the country, right? So where you have more cyclones, typhoons, or hurricane, as you say, yeah. uh, happen in the ha northern half of the country. It could actually result in a different pattern mm -hmm. to yours, okay? All right, so uh, in view of time, I I'll move on to the more general questions. Yeah. Um, there are two species that you look at, Rhizophora and Avicennia, yeah. and they actually are quite different in terms of uh, many of the things that you look at. For example, decomposition rate, um, the uh, the location on the tidal gradient and so on. So it's actually a very interesting case in Vietnam because just like many other countries in Southeast Asia, when people plant mangroves, then they use Rhizophora rather than Avicennia. And because it's easier to plant Rhizophora, you take the uh, dropper and then put it into the ground and then you have a small tree growing in a very short time. Imagine, based on your data, instead of planting Rhizophora, if people actually had planted Avicennia instead, then how would you actually look at the whole picture of the Kenjo mangrove if it is not dominated by um, Rhizophora apiculata, but dominated by Avicennia alba or Avicennia marina? Then how would you, based on your data on the two differences between the two species. Look at a forest dominated by Avicennia. How would the fluxes be like and how would the carbon dynamics be like? How different is it going to be with a Rhizophora forest? Thank you so much for uh, in your discussion with me this about this, uh, my result. And it's, uh, with my knowledge, in, uh, in especially in uh, the Kanye mangrove forest, um, it looks like I, um, I saw this, the, the history of the, the Kanye mangrove forest, because uh, this is all this, uh, almost this, the areas uh, were plated after the Vietnamese War. Uh, with the Kanye mangrove forest, uh, because it's the planted uh, forest. Uh, the first time is uh, in Kanye, this the, the local people they uh, they um, they plant the the rhizophora in the the higher position first. It's uh, it's not in the the lower uh, position and uh, the suffer um, sediment. Uh, I think that is the, some, uh, the, some scientists in Vietnam, uh, especially this refer to uh, Dr. Nam. He's had a span of long time in the Kanye mangrove forest. Uh, I think they follow this, the, the natural re um, regeneration of the, the mangrove. Uh, they plant the, the first in the highest um, position. And uh, after that is the after the plantation. This the Avicennia stand. They uh, uh, colonize after uh, plantation because uh, um, because the the Avicennia they ad adapted with the maybe this the high. Uh, Tidal and the high 
um, poor water salinity. Um, with me, I think this the. Uh, with me, I think this the. Uh, the rhizophora when they uh, when you plant in the the low position and the the soft um, sediment, they cannot uh, grow, uh, because uh, depend on. Uh, on the, I think this is depend on the soil density. And then, then uh, I never seen this the rhizophora they stand on the the mud flat because it's the, so soft. They they cannot stand because the rock roots cannot uh, keep them uh, stable on the the the, the mud uh, uh, the um, the st uh, unstable uh, sediment. And um, maybe you can explain a little bit your question. I so in, in terms of, for example, uh, just take one of the major surfaces of mangrove plantations, um, say as a carbon sink yeah. or storage, then if people did not plant rhizophora, but instead they plant it, Avicenia. How would, would the situation be very different in terms of the surfaces in in carbon storage? Knowing now, you know the little dynamics. You know the carbon storage uh, and emission patterns of the two species. Then, if it wasn't actually a rhizophora forest, it could have been a, an, uh, by mistake that people actually just chose Rhizophora, whereas they could have chosen Avicenia too, then what differences, major differences might there be if someone actually decided to plant instead of Rhizophora, just planted Avicenia? Yes, um, I think that is uh, when this, um, when people this choose this, um, the Yes, thank you. This, uh, it looks like this, the, my result is uh, I present this, the, the carbon stock in the Avicenia stand is uh, lower than this, uh, the carbon stock in the Rhizophora stand. It's, uh, it looks like uh, I explained this, uh, the Avicenia stand is the uh, is uh, recognized uh, after this the rhizophora stand. Uh, maybe this the Avicenia stand is the younger than this the, uh, the uh, exactly this the Avicenia is younger than rhizophora stand. Um, depend on our result, and I think that is when we have the advice for this the people to plant the the Avicenia or the rhizophora. Uh, I think that is uh, depend on the the position of the the land, and we will this, uh, discuss about this. The which is the mangrove species we will uh, plant in this area. Uh, but uh, I think that is uh, especially in Vietnam. This uh, with the the local people or this the many uh, company. Uh, if they have the uh, the plan for the mangrove forest, uh, I think they will choose this the rhizophora. They prefer the rhizophora more than this uh, Avicenia. Yeah, uh, I think this. Uh, I think this in uh, in the southern of Vietnam, the uh, especially this uh, Avicenia, um, very rare for the the plantation, and this is the the natural. 
regeneration in the along of the the cutter, uh, the along of the river. Uh, another this uh, another reason this uh, Vietnam in the Vietnamese uh, they refer to the uh, the rhizophora more than the Abyssinia because this the in the rhizophora had a high value for this the chair coral and this uh, for the business therefore this they refer this on because it's uh, not easy to um, to see this the which tree for the mangrove forest station but but on but you depend on your result but it's not easy for with the the advice for the the people they they choose the the cbc well um that's good uh, the reason why I asked that question is because when we now need to do a lot of mangrove restoration yes. and um, planting, um, and the choice of species is important because they don't behave the same way. Mm, like yes. Avicennia seems to have a lower carbon stock in the both the above ground biomass as well as below ground in the sediment and so on. Yes. And the carbon emission rate is probably also lower because it's a lot more uh, oxic, the, the soil the sediment compared to rhizophora stands. And so I think your data can actually be made uh, quite useful in that respect in comparing, say, for example, the Officinia forest and a rhizophora forest in how they behave in terms of their carbon dynamics and carbon emission patterns. Yeah. Yeah, uh, just one comment before I hand over to Daniel. Um, is we actually have measured some carbon emission from same species forest in Matang, you know Matang in Matang. Malaysia. Yeah, Malaysia. Uh, Rhizophora piculata too, uh, over a 30 year rotation cycle. And you mentioned that your rate of carbon emission at uh, about 260 minimal per meter square per day is one of the highest. Yeah, that's actually right, because if you compare with the literature value, it's quite high. But our data actually went up to about 500, 500. minimal CO2 per square meter per day in uh, Rhizophora apiculata forest in Matang. And the reason being that it's actually a matter of management. So they cut the trees after 30 years. And so that practice basically allow, allows a lot more debris to remain in the soil over time. And that actually increases, even for the same species of trees, um, same type of environment, more or less, like Vietnam. The carbon emission rate is double your rate, which is already very high. And so it points to the importance of not just the species, the environment, and so on, but the practice of management, uh, how you manage your forest, and can man mean a lot in terms of, of your fundamental carbon dynamics features, like carbon emission rates, and so on. So, thank you. Yep. Thank you so much for your sharing about this uh, good experience. Okay, let, let me continue uh, with some concern that I have. First of all, I would like to echo the words of congratulations to your work. Uh, we believe that this is a hard work and you've done it so well and, and presented it in a very clear manner. And um, we we learn and what's what's happening there in in Kanjur especially for us. Um, I have a couple of questions. I, I decided to drop a couple of them related to litter. It's already been explored a lot, so I dropped that question. So I will concentrate my questions on the soil carbon and and CO two flux. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, in your figure, if you can start flicking that. Um, we see that the uh, carbon concentration below one meter can possibly increasing, you, but you, you sample only up to one meter, one meter deep. Yes, yes. Yeah. So what, what is your, your expectation in terms of increase in soil carbon when you go deeper? Yes. Can, can you show that figure, please?
before this? No, the profile of this soil carbon content. Yep. So if I see the carbon content in this particular spot, the slope is increasing, especially in, in the interior. And I imagine that input of carbon, wherever it from, is greater. So what, what do you expect if you, if you take a core deeper than one meter? Mm, thank you so much for your question. Uh, I think that is a... Mm, I attended the the training workshop in, from the C C4 in 2012. At the time, this uh, we collect the soil sample is uh, not only 100 meter. I remember at the time this uh, we take the soil sample is uh, when this the the end of the the organic content in the sediment. Uh, maybe this uh, two or somewhere is uh, three meter. Uh, but in my research, uh, I only refer for the uh, the core is for one meter in deep. Uh, depend on the result, um, I refer this the the uh, the CO two content uh, CO two content is in the the soil is. Uh, Maybe this ingredient is uh, under this the 100 meter. Uh, it look like it's, I it plan is maybe is the 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 carbon content is uh, under this uh, four, 40 centimeter. But this the uh, correct uh, correct one to this the the mangrove forest in the park is is not in the uh, in the the current forest in. And uh, <coughs> with the um, the carbon content is uh, the the inner forest is uh, it had a, uh, the trend is uh, increase maybe increase is uh, from the the bot um, the soil surface to the 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 bottom of the core edge is uh, one meter one meter in deep is. Uh, in the first uh, layer up in the inner forest is uh, I, I think that is the higher the high carbon content is the. Uh, let, let me repeat my my questions. What, what do you expect if you go deeper than one meter? Then, yep. If we, uh, I think it's. Um, I will determine this the the carbon content uh, the soil carbon content is uh, uh, will is uh, higher because uh, some research they saw this the the soil carbon content uh, not only in 100 meter in deep maybe the deeper therefore is uh, they determine this the um, maybe this the total of the soil carbon content in the the, mm. the sediment. Have you come across to a term called ecosystem carbon stock instead of plot or transect? The whole ecosystem carbon stock. Have you come across to that term? Uh, yes, it's with the the ecosystem carbon stock, and um, in this research, it's, um, we set up this uh, 13, uh, 13, uh, 13 plots, um, six, six plots in the uh, Kamau Province and seven plots in the, um, in the Kanye Mangrove. Besides, we have the three uh, trenches with the bell trenches, uh, with two meter uh, in width and uh, one, 150 in uh, in land. Uh, therefore, is, we uh, determine this the, the the ecosystem carbon for the Kanye mangrove by on this the result from the 
the blocks and the, the bell transfers to this mine. And um, in this research, we um, we read out um, concerning the, the the carbon stock in the the good depth roots and the the carbon stock in the above uh, below ground biomass because we only determine the uh, the carbon stock in the biomass uh, above ground biomass and the carbon stock in the uh, the the carbon stock in the um, uh, we only determine the soil carbon stock. It's not for the the bio um, the carbon in the below biomass in the roof. Hmm. So do do you agree if somebody says that the majority of carbon stock in mangrove ecosystem is in the sediment? In in your case? Mm, yes, I agree because uh, in my research is uh, uh, the my research so this uh, the carbon stock uh, distribution um, uh, a lot um, approximate from this uh, 76 to mm -hmm. 84 percent in the uh, in the soil so sediment is very important mm, yes okay I, I will follow this up later on in a very generic very general questions later but let's let's move to the carbon or co2 flux yes. In, again, in your figures, you show the profile of CO2 concentration in the high tide and low tide, night and day. And um, we have the impression that the profile is very stable, even if it is nighttime and, and high tide, with a concentration of almost 500 ppm. Yeah, yes. let's let's take this March thing, 470, and stable all over uh, up to 14 meters, is that right? Um, <coughs> yeah. This is a tail, tail meter. In Two meter, 12. Tail, tail yeah. meter. In okay. Nine. So um, you have so much carbon below the ground, and it's not transmitted or transferred very efficiently. And the system is not source limited. That's that's what I have the impression. What if the management decided to thin the distance or the the space of plantation here? Do you expect something different in terms of CO2 profile within this forest? Uh, yeah. Thank you so much for your question. Uh, the depend on my result is uh, I think that is the the CO two concentration is uh, different um, between this uh, the first is uh, different between this uh, the level of um, uh, the high level uh, under the canopy. This is the vertical of the the level. Is uh, the first uh, the first level is uh, zero point five and one meter and after that is mm, two meter. I think this the the value at mm, uh, each level is uh, the first effect from the, the CO2 emission from deep, different uh, interface. The first is uh, maybe from the soil at mm, low tide and the the water uh, the water column at high tide and another shock from this uh, the trunk and the uh, Maybe this uh, the CO two emission from the the rock roots, and uh, uh, the higher the higher um, the level is uh, maybe affected up the the air movement, uh, especially this the the wind speed, they will uh, diffuse up the the CO two in uh, under the air uh, under the the canopy. Is uh, because uh, in in my research uh, we only uh, set up the column at the tail meter, in the middle of the um, the canopy in high. Okay, uh, I'm I'm trying to relate my question with your dream to do edicovariance. <laughs> mm. um, 
Because I imagine this system is sync limited. Yes. You, you don't have enough um, driver to, to move carbon concentration within the canopy up to the air. So the interface between canopy and the atmosphere is important. Mm, yeah. So that's why I was asking from management point of view, if you make the plantation thinner, do you think the emission will go up? Mm, I think this the CO two content is uh, higher than this. Uh, the canopy will uh, decrease the, the the same value with the CO two concentration in the canopy uh, atmosphere, and uh, we also refer this. Uh, this is the first data. This will support for. And the the result from the uh, the ID Kovarang, I we Dr. Sirin and I only refer this. Mm -hmm. So you you don't expect much emission when the system is thin. Um, no. Even at the night time. Mm. In uh, our research, and uh, we also this measure the CO2 emit, um, CO2 concentration. Uh. Oh, let let me change the question. What is your research questions when you do edico variance? Um, yes, with the the at uh, at the covariant is um, uh, we will set up the 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 own equipment is uh, higher than the canopy. Depend on the 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 higher for on equipment from the the top of the canopy is uh, the principle. If the equipment is uh, higher one meter, when we compare with the mean uh, the the high of the canopy. We can measure this. The radio is uh, 100, 100 meter. Uh, if the the equipment higher more than is 10 meter, and we can uh, we can calculate the net uh, ecosystem productivity this in the the area. This uh, with the radio radius is to um, one kilometer. That uh, with the the um, the the ethical variant and we um, is allow we will uh, determine this the the next uh, ecosystem uh, productivity and we will this compare uh, compare the the footing from the uh, ethical variant with the result that we measure this. Uh, under uh, from the the column under the canopy, um, but uh, I I also refer this. Uh, we will this uh, in the next time we will uh, measure the CO two em emission from uh, different component uh, in the mangrove forest. For example, this uh, the CO two emission maybe from the the rock roots and the CO two emission from the the turn on the forest floor is maybe we will just, um, we will find out the different soak up the CO two emission for the mangrove forest in Kenya. So if you have the same concentration at four meter with twelve meter, basically you don't have any flux between the two heights. Um, yes, there's. Um, this might be, uh, I think, this uh, this result present at the the daytime high tide. This is vertical flux. You don't have flux because they are all the same. Mm, yeah, the, the same value. It's. Um, I think that is. Uh, I I can explain this uh, because uh, some days the mangrove forest in the can year this the high. Uh, the high tree density and this the the very crowded canopy is uh, sometimes this the the wind is the the wind speed is approximate is the zero 
meter per, per second. Therefore, mm. the CO2 emission may be the same value at the, uh, the, the different uh, level. What, what is the concentration above the canopy? Do you have any idea? I know you, don't, you didn't measure it, or oh, you did. Uh, we only measure this, the, the highest uh, position, this is the tail meter uh, at right. the, the middle of the, the high of canopy. Mm -hmm. So you don't figure above the canopy. Yeah. Um, we also refer, but this uh, uh, had a many, uh, many factor uh, effects on uh, our research. First is the funny, because it's not easy to set up the column mm -hmm. in the, the mangrove forest. Uh, we need to spend a lot of money, and therefore we only refer at this time. Uh, maybe we fit the column here with the the mangrove tree. It's easy for okay. Uh, our Fair enough. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. We have this, uh, the result from this, uh, the, uh, the ethical variant. Uh, <coughs> under this, the, the canopy, this, uh, we measure the CO2, this, uh, and the higher uh, CO2 concentration uh, in the, the night time, uh, then the, the CO2 concentration in the atmosphere during the, the daytime. The value for uh, CO2 concentration, um, the CO2 concentration value uh, at daytime approximately this uh, from is uh, 399 to 400, uh, 405 ppm. Upper, upper. Yeah, yep. This the the upper more than. Um, 10 meter. Okay, so yep. you can imagine those 100 ppm difference will affect the flux. Uh, yes. Okay? Yes. Thanks. Yeah. So this is my final question. Perhaps it's more of application and, and very general. Yes. Because you mentioned in, in the thesis about RED, R-E-D-D. Mm. You remember that? You mentioned this? <laughs> Reducing emission from deforestation and forest degradation. Now, my, my question, are you familiar with this term and this scheme under the UNFCCC? Please, mm. uh, Rebist your, your request. R-E-D-D. -D. It is in the list of acronym also. I found it red mentioned in your, your thesis. Red, 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 red and red plus. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Page Okay, so <laughs> you, you remember this, right? Please, um, leave waste moment, I will open this my files. Well, while you're looking for that, uh, the Vietnamese government is very keen to include red in their national plan to reduce emission and perhaps also to get fun from red mechanism under Paris Agreement. So as, as scientists who completed your PhD, you're returning home, what do you think you can contribute to this process in the context of mangrove forests to be part of red mechanism? 
yes, this, uh, thank you so much for your question. Um, I think this, uh, now in, in Vietnam, the government, they refer uh, a lot on the, the red, and red, um, especially at this time, this uh, red plus. Um, not only uh, red plus, uh, especially in Vietnam now, this, the government had the, uh, um, the best, this is the uh, basement environment uh, uh, service. Um, I think that is uh, uh, after this um, this my research uh, and uh, I try to improve this my knowledge and I will try to uh, attend this the the rest plus uh, program in Vietnam. Um, Especially now in uh, not in in uh, especially now in the the southern of Vietnam, uh, the the uh, the rest plus uh, apply to the mangrove forest, um, but also is the the best program now is uh, the the Vietnam government is uh, apply the best program for not only in the the um, the forest on the the highland. But for the, the mangrove forest, uh, I think this, um, when we uh, apply this result, maybe we will determine this, the, the service value of the rhizophora is not only on the biodiversity. And they, um, uh, we focus on the, the carbon stock and uh, we will measure this, the pollen, uh, the carbon, uh, the mangrove forest. And is it the, the the shock or the scene for the CO2 uh, for the atmosphere? Uh, especially, uh, we apply this result to the the rest plus or uh, the best program. Uh, I think this the result will have the evidence for the the government to know exactly about this the the mangrove forest. This is the scene of the CO2. Uh, from the, the atmosphere and it's not to the the soak up the uh, CO2 for the uh, the atmosphere. It's not look like it's the some agri uh, agriculture system. They are the the soak CO2 for the atmosphere, not the sea. Okay, so I can tell you that your numbers are very important. So definitely you can contribute as you said it's evident based because they are looking for emission factors, yes. and you have the very numbers that you can contribute to that. Yeah. Thank, Thank you very you much. So much. Well, Mr. Vin. Yeah. Thank you. First, um, congratulations for your excellent work done in the mangrove of Kanjiu. And uh, I would like especially congratulate you for having overcome the difficulties of sampling in a harsh environment. Uh, I have a couple of questions. Um, first question is more related to ecology, for changing a little. Uh, in New Caledonia, we find the same kind of mangrove, Rhizophora and Avicennia. However, the distribution is not the same as in the mangrove of Kangio. Here in New Caledonia, Avicennia are located on the top of the foreshore and are therefore very little flooded by the tide, while rhizophora are located further downstream. Do you have any explanation for this difference? Yeah. Thank you so much for your question, Dr. Luke Batona. Uh, your question, you uh, refer on the, the distribu distribution of the mangrove species, uh, follow the, the different uh, Guardian uh, elevation from the the river to the the uh, for, um, to fall yes. to form two inlands, yeah, mm, different between the uh, Kanjia and New Caledonia. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much for your question. Um, 
first, uh, I would like to uh, discuss about this the result. Why uh, the, mm, discuss about uh, on my result is uh, why uh, the distribution of the mangrove species this uh, in Kenya and this the, the distribution of the mangrove uh, tree in New Caledonia. Um, I think that is uh, the the distribution of the mangrove tree. Uh, this by on the the poor water salinity. This is, I think this is uh, considered uh, at the main river of the for distribution of the tree. Um, because uh, different different mangrove tree uh, will have the different uh, ability to adapt with the. Uh, the different uh, poor water salinity. Uh, for example, is uh, the first for example in uh, in in New Caledonia. Uh, I think that is the the New Caledonia is the um, the semi arid uh, climate. Um, maybe this had a high. Uh, evaporation and with the the low with the low uh, with the the low uh, rain rainfall, is uh, we we make the the increase this poor water salinity uh, from uh, increase from the the river to the the inland. Uh, According to uh, the result is uh, from uh, Dr. Mark Chang and uh, Leo Bon, they uh, have researched and measured this, the degree of the poor water salinity increase from the uh, the river to the inland. Uh, the poor water salinity value is uh, approximately reaching more than 50 per thousand. Uh, I think you know, with the the value, uh, the Avicennia is uh, with with the BC can cope with the uh, the high salinity, and with condition is uh, the Avicennia this cannot uh, develop at the high salinity, but in um, in Vietnam, the, uh, <coughs> uh, the mangrove distribution is uh, in the Lao is position with the Avicennia, and uh, from our result, we also measure the silt, um, the poor water salinity increase from the mud flat to the, the the inner forest, and they increase from the the soil surface to the bottom of um, one meter in deep. But this value never, never uh, reached more than uh, 13 uh, per thousand. Because, uh, as you know, it's, I saw this, the position of the, the Kandya mangrove. This is the downstream. Uh, the red water, they come uh, every day in the year. They will reduce the, uh, uh, the salinity in the... Um, the water and increase to the the CO, um, the poor water in the uh, the poor water salinity, and another reason I think that is the in Kenya with the high uh, uh, rainfall occur during the the year, they will uh, reduce the uh, the poor water salinity, and another reason. Another reason I think that's uh, because uh, maybe it's not sure because in uh, in New Caledonia, this the the mangrove forest, uh, the natural ma uh, mangrove forest, the uh, the natural generation. But in Kenya, uh, you know, on the mangrove is the uh, plantation. Uh, it looks like I is plant uh, in the. The first pass, this is because uh, the first time the people uh, they plant uh, the uh, Avicennia in the higher position, 
and with the Rizzo, uh, with the Avicennia, they colonize after the plantation. It's therefore it's had the opposite opposite of the distribution of the mangrove forest from the the river to inland between this uh, uh, the Kanye mangrove and New Caledonia. Thank you for your explanation. Yes. Mr. Vin. First, I would say that working with you was nice. Thank you so much. Uh, when, when I look your presentation, I can say I am happy to see this presentation because for me it is a good one. Your PowerPoint was excellent, Thank you, very sir. well illustrated and clear to understand. Yes. I would also say, for just a smiling moment, that I have not had the chance to see you in Vietnam field, yeah. uh, but it is may be possible for the future because in in a month i was retired i am retired so <laughs> i have time to go in in vietnam and if you said me michel come to vietnam i <laughs> i go in in vietnam yeah, we, so it is not uh, impossible for me to repair these uh, things that i have, i have not had the possibility to see you in the field of Kanjao mangrove. But if I have not uh, had this chance, I can certify that during your stay in New Caledonia, yes. you have made a good job. We have always been available to help other students of the yes. mangrove team of Cyril Marchand in order to improve the observatory of mangrova of uh, Cyril Marchand. Uh, we have also uh, perfectly realized the laboratory work related to your problematic. Yes. So for me, now, you are a, a complete scientist specializing in mangrove study. We have shown to the people by your presentation that you have the, that you can make field and laboratory study. And when we, you return to the Vietnam, I hope that this thesis and the upcoming publication will allow you a first rate recognition and for me it is the objective of the th thesis. Yes. Now I would also say that it is never easy to walk several thousand of kilometers for, from your country yes. in a territory whose language was no for you. Uh, I understand perfectly these kinds of problems with my bad English. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I think it was difficult for you, I, I imagine me in your position, yes. to answer to the question of the, of the jury. It is difficult for you to, to have uh, immediate uh, response to the question of the jury member. I am sure I, yes. I was in the same difficulty. So I understand these kinds of difficulties. Um, but I, 
have two questions. And yes. because my English is bad, I am sure that you understand me. <laughs> the first question is, what could be the influences of sea level rise on carbon stock in Kanjayo Mangrove? Could you answer me to this question? What is the influence of the sea level rise? We are in, the, in a period who, where climate change is very important, and your job has a lot of application. Uh, I have understand the question of the jury member, so could you answer me what is the influence of the sea level rise? Could you answer me? Answer me? Mm. Your question, you asked about this, the... Uh, I don't understand this one word in your question. <laughs> the, the sea level rise, sea level rise, has an influences Influent. on the development of the Kanjayo mangrove. What is this influences? <laughs> mm, yes, thank you so much. It's uh, the um, now is. Uh, under the climate change is uh, especially in the, the southern of Vietnam. This is the the low uh, the low growth. Is uh, how many uh, report they they guess that this the uh, if the sea level rise, uh, especially in Vietnam or in Ho Chi Minh City, we have many modeling to to uh, to guess. Uh, the, to refer the if the sea level rise the uh, one meter or uh, zero boy five meter is uh, with it, it, uh, effects on the the Viet not only in Vietnam but uh, also in the the southern of Vietnam. Uh, with my research, I think that is. Uh, um, I only did, uh, did, uh, uh, determine the, the CO, CO2 uh, and the carbon stock in the mangrove forest, and this. Uh, but in the search, I refer on this the um, the sedimentation in the mangrove forest, uh, combined with another result from this McKenzie. And uh, the picture that I saw, uh, that, that I took when I uh, worked in the Kanye mangrove, uh, we get that uh, with the mangrove forest, we will um, elevate it up the the crowd when we have the mangrove forest along the the coastal line in Vietnam. They will increase the the crowd. When this, um, the sea level rise, uh, they will this look like this, the fan to uh, protect the, the land behind. Uh, and especially this, uh, now in, not in Vietnam, especially in the, the southern of Vietnam, in, Cam, in the, the Mekong Delta, uh, along the coastal line in, uh, in Cà Mau. Effect is uh, by the uh, climate change, the the erosion coastal line is occur every time everywhere in in the in the Cà Mau. I think that is the the mangrove forest had a very important to uh, rotation the coastal line uh, under the climate change and uh, the the sea sea level rise. Uh, especially in Vietnam. Uh, understand the importance of the mangrove stand. And now, uh, nowadays in Vietnam, we uh, 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 invest a lot of money to, uh, to plant the, the mangrove forest in the, the mud blast under the, the mean sea level. But it's uh, somewhere is, uh, successful, but somewhere is uh, loose. Because uh, we uh, uh, we opposite that the the rule this uh, because uh, the de definition of the mangrove only grow above the mean sea level, but now in Vietnam we have many projects to um, 
to blend this the Avicennia, especially the Avicennia Anba and Avicennia Marina uh, on the mud flats under the about the sea level. But it's somewhere this uh, successful, but it's somewhere this uh, this fail. But we uh, this the Vietnamese government they try to do many things to uh, rotate the coastal line under the climate change and uh, sea level rise. Okay, thank you. The second one is, do you think that the high temperature in South, South Vietnam can limit mangrove herbality to be a sink for greenhouse gas? Um, with my knowledge and compare with uh, my result, um, uh, I think it's... Um, with the climate in the northern of Vietnam, is uh, only uh, only um, limit the the high biodiversity, uh, especially this some reports they uh, uh, they saw this uh, or had many survey in Vietnam the the mangrove species in the the northern of Vietnam is lower more than in the southern uh, in the in the southern of Vietnam. And uh, I think uh, the um, the high biodiversity is uh, maybe is not so effect uh, on the uh, the carbon stock in the mangrove, but it's uh, another research from the McKinsey. He uh, said that is the the high biodiversity not uh, unclear effect on the carbon stock in the sediment. But is the the carbon stock uh, from about ground biomass maybe affected from the the species uh, the high species or low species? Uh, I think that is uh, when we compare the uh, the carbon stock or the CO two emission uh, from the north to the south is I think this is the different because it's. Uh, the weather, the weather in the northern is uh, a, lot, a little bit different with the southern of Vietnam. Um, maybe this the, the weather is colder and the low rainfall more in, in the southern. Uh, another reason this is the far from the equator. Uh, that means it's the CO2, uh, uh, the biomass and the biodiversity will lower than this. The, the, locus, uh, the location uh, developed is near equator. Thank you, Mr. Vin. It's time for me to end my intervention. I would finally congratulate you for your Thank presentation. You. And I repeat, I was very happy to work with you in New Caledonia. Yeah, thank so you so much. Now it is time for another member of jury, the yeah. other director, to speak. Yeah, thank you so much, Professor Michel Alamba. Dear Mr. Vin. Yeah, thank you. So <laughs> First, I'd like to congratulate you. I'm very happy and very proud of what you did during the last four years and what you did today. Your presentation was really nice. I told at lunchtime to the member of the jury that you were really stressed during the last two weeks. And uh, today you impressed me because you did your best presentation that I've ever heard. So again, congratulations for this presentation. We all know that to answer questions in English in a foreign language with the stress you have, because it's a high diploma for you, it's, it's not easy and, uh, and you did well. So. Congratulations and thank you. I just, uh, just want to say a few words uh, about Vin for the people who are there. So Vin is kind of associate professor is in university for now 10 years at Nonglam University. And Mr. Vin is married and he has three kids. So he managed very well to both develop 
uh, his job of scientist, his job of teacher, and also to take care of his family. So I was also very impressed by this, both to have a family with three kids and to be a scientist uh, like you. Uh, you obtained a grant from IRD, an IRTS grant, for three years. And it was really nice because it helped you to come here to work with us in, in New Caledonia. Uh, I also would like to say that you can work very hard in the field. I was really impressed. It's not easy to work on mangrove, and you can do it uh, perfectly. You were also very successful to manage your master student who helped you in the field to measure CO2 and to collect the litterfall. Yes. Because you, Vin, you are an ecologist, and you didn't know anything about carbon stock, carbon flux, and CO2 measurement before you started your thesis. And so you learned from me. You learn from the other student, like I said yesterday, Pierre, Franck, but also Adrien here. Yes. And after you teach to your own students how to measure litterfall, how to collect sediment cores, how to measure pH, and how to measure CO2 flux. So you are also a, a good teacher. I just have one or one simple question. Because like I said yesterday for uh, Mr. New, the most important thing for me is the way you develop your skills during three years. You started at, let's say, uh, not a high level of science, yes. but now, in very soon, you'll be a PhD, and I think that you deserve to be a PhD, uh, PhD because you can, you can develop a scientific project from the beginning to the end, and the end is writing scientific papers, and you can write scientific papers. So for you, my, maybe, okay, let's say my only questions because you are starting to get tired. For you, what is the most important thing you learn during the last four years? What is your best achievement? What is the thing you are most proud about, about what you did during the last four years? What is the most important thing for you? And thank you so much, uh, Dr. Shirin Machang. Uh, I am so happy to to meet you. This uh, first met is five years ago in Saigon, and uh, from the first time uh, to up to now, is um, I really really remember the sentence from you. This the uh, you need to thinking about is uh, what you will do in the next time. This is the, the question is make me is uh, thinking a lot, and I carefully when I work in the field, when I write on the my thesis, uh, when I read the newspaper, um, I think it's uh, I learn a lot, a lot up from you. Uh, it look like you say this uh, the main the main my major is uh, not in the. Uh, chemical, not in the CO2 plus, not uh, on the um, lift of decomposition, or so terrible. It's not easy for me. But sometimes I'm very, very stressed. But another reason is uh, I think that is uh, my English is not good. Uh, not good. It's, uh, I think it's very bad. Therefore, it's sometimes I, I thinking I'm nervous. Uh, maybe I cannot uh, express it what I thinking, and it will be make me very stressed. And I said that I learned a lot up from you, and I learned how to uh, um, work in the field, and how can I read newspaper and take note uh, some information from the new paper, and how to write a scientific paper. Oh, I cannot uh, talk out because I learned a lot up from you, and I'm very proud of uh, you're my student. But it's, um, uh, as you know, it's, uh, I am uh, very stressed when I received a grant, a BD grant to study in New Caledonia. Especially, the, I remember the first time I come here, and I will follow you uh, to meet Professor Lutner and. This professor Lutner is uh, had many support for Nyo and I, and I never is uh, I never forgot on up thing that I work with you uh, during the five years from the first time I met you in in Vietnam to now. 
I hope that it's, uh, after I defend up my thesis, I will improve many, many things. First, I will try to improve my, my English, and I will improve many skills, and I hope that it's, uh, I have a cooperation with you in Vietnam, um, keep to research on the, the Kanyer mangrove. It looks like I have this small desk with you this, uh, maybe the next time, uh, next year or after next year, and we have uh, an audio result on the Kanye Mangrove uh, based on the satellite and modeling the uh, NDVA with the, the, the net ecosystem. This is the data we, we collect from this uh, ethical brand. This, uh, the Latin, I would like to say thank you so much, uh, Professor Michel Alambad and Dr. Shirin support many things for me during my, my BD student in New Caledonia. Thank you so much. <coughs> okay, Vin. Uh, I agree with uh, Cyril and Michel. Your presentation was uh, very nice, with uh, nice slides very uh, easy to understand, and it's very important for oral defense, of course. So the, the most important point we already discussed, so I have the, just uh, some question. The first one is uh, not really a question, but uh, 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 a mix of uh, remark and the question. Uh, regarding the unit you use, megagrams and teragrams, all over your uh, uh, manuscript and uh, during the presentation. What is the equivalent in tones? Yes. Uh, thank you so much for um, your question, Professor Lotuner. In my uh, research, uh, somewhere I use this, the unit in the, in the tongue, Berheta, is uh, especially when I uh, calculate the, the ecosystem carbon for the Kanye mangrove forest. Uh, if I use this, the tongue per hectare, or this is the, the best number, which had many, many euros. Therefore, I convert to the telegram carbon. This is easy for, for me to use in this my research. Is it common in uh, the literature? Um, yes, it's uh, some uh, some uh, some paper. <coughs> this, um, they use this, the units to uh, um, for the um, when they they calculate this the, um, the <coughs> in the world they usually to use this the telegram carbon. Yeah. Okay, this the the, the comma. Okay. Uh, another question, uh, Luc de la Patrona already uh, asked uh, this question, more or less, regarding the distrib distribution sorry, uh, of Avicenia uh, versus Rizifora. So, that slide. Uh, is it common in Vietnam to have first Avicenia and after Rizifora? Yep, or is it specific to uh, the site? Yep, this is a very, very common in the mangrove forest in Vietnam. Uh, in Vietnam, uh, they say the, the Avicenia, this is the bonnier uh, mangrove forest tree. Mm. This is the, they are the first mangrove tree in the yes. most last. And after the, behind the Avicenia tree, this is maybe another species, this is uh, uh, this, yep. <coughs> On, on the, in other Asian places? Oh. In other countries such as uh, Thailand, Malaysia, or Indonesia maybe, I don't know. Is it common too? Oh, I'm sorry, I never visit in the, uh, yeah. Indonesia and Malaysia. <laughs> I, okay. I don't have okay. the answer. To it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Believe it, uh, Professor da Daniel, help me. For uh, your, your next thesis, maybe. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm so no? scared. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, another question is uh, relative to uh, the, the specific site you, you have studied. Uh, as uh, you well explained, it's a planted uh, mangrove. Uh, not only a planted mangrove, but also a managed mangrove. So, do, um, for, I think... Uh, 
surtout le bois de chauffage ou for wood or charcoal and so on. Um, do you think your result could have been different for natural mangrove? Mm, this Min natural mangrove is uh, in Vietnam. Yeah. Uh, yes. Um, this now is uh, in Vietnam. This the natural mangrove forest is uh, very rare. <laughs> but I, I, I thinking about that is the uh, my result is um, maybe different with the natural mangrove forest. Uh, for example, it's maybe this natural forest had a small area in the Phuket Island and Kondao Island um, because uh, I think in this um, in the natural forest uh, in the tropical uh, area. We had uh, many, many species and many uh, layer under the canopy. They adapted with the a good position under the canopy. Therefore, they will maximize the carbon stock in the mangrove forest. Then the the um, plantation mangrove forest with the mono species. I think that. Okay, uh, last question. Uh, your site is very close, I think 20 kilometers approximately from uh, a big city, Ho Chi Minh City. Ho Chi Minh city. Uh, do you think uh, that this big urban city uh, can influence your results through pollution or something, something like that? Mm, yes. It's, um, in, um, in my room, in uh, when we study in Kenya, and uh, Dr. Frank and Dr. Pierre and Mr. Nyo, he uh, had many many research on the the the, me the methane pollution effect is from the big city on the Kenya mangrove, and uh, Mr. Nyo he he will determine this the the mangrove forest toys. Uh, uh, uptake is the the pollution uh, methane from the not only in uh, Ho Chi Minh City, uh, but uh, but also in the industrial zone is the uh, in the up upland from this uh, near the um, Saigon River and the Dong Nai River. Therefore, this I think is uh, the Kanye Mangrove is uh, this look like the the future to um, to keep the, the train marathon from the Ho Chi Minh City. Okay, thank you. So that's all for me. We have now to discuss. Yes. So we will ask uh, to all of, us, all of you, sorry, to get out. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> for a few moments.